This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and today we're going to look at the Nokia Lumia 822 that's available on Verizon Wireless. This is a Windows Phone 8 device, quite affordable, $99 a contract, although right now online Verizon's actually selling for $49 a contract. So if you're looking for something a little bit more affordable than the HTC 8X on Verizon, but with some really good value-added extras, the Nokia is definitely worth a look. So here's the Nokia Lumia 822. It's available now on Verizon Wireless in the U.S. It has a 4.3-inch clear black AMOLED display with a polarizing filter on it so you don't see too much glare for good outdoor viewability. And it's an RGB stripe panel, so that means none of that pentile matrix stuff there. Nice colors, nice and bright. Not as striking as the Lumia 920 display, but hey, if you're on Verizon Wireless, whatever AT&T is carrying is not going to do you any good anyway, now is it? So this is an 800 by 480 pixel display, not as high resolution as, again, the, the Lumia 920 on AT&T or as the HTC 8X, which is available on your fair carrier, Verizon Wireless. But then again, it's half the price of the HTC 8X as well. There's a lot we like about the phone. The, the design is not one. It's one of the interesting things. When Nokia makes a, a lower end line phone, it's not the top of the line model, they almost punish you with the design. I have to say, this is a really boring looking phone. You've got your kind of ovaled out rectangle here. You've got the big Verizon chin going on here. It's available in your exciting choice of black, gray, or white. And the white does look a little bit snazzy. Too bad it didn't come out in Verizon red. That would have been neat. It's not exactly thin either. It's, it's kind of looking a little chunky, a little thick. Here's your speakers down here, your micro USB port. Here on the side we have our dedicated camera key. That's the standard for Windows Phone. This is running Windows Phone 8, by the way, latest and greatest OS. Your power button, your volume rocker. Up top here we have our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And here is the back. Again, it's sort of like a black bar of soap, you know? Not the worst thing I've seen. Honestly, I think the Lumia 810 on T-Mobile, which is their equivalent, is even more boring looking. That is a complete rectangle. We'll show you in a minute. But, neat thing here, Carl Zeiss lens on our 8 megapixel camera. Very nice camera. LED flash right here, and even more nice, and perhaps more important than how good or bad it looks, we've got a little hole here to actually take the back off. Hey, this is not sealed like the Lumia 920 or the HTC 8X. So for those of you who need to swap the battery, there it is. You can take this battery right out. 1800 milliamp battery, good capacity. And here we have stacked slots. Top one right here is for micro SD card. Yes, you can actually use removable storage with this. We're starting to see that in Windows Phone 8 devices. Not too many of them, unfortunately, but you do get that here. And you can use a card up to 64 gigs in capacity. And under here, a little hard to see, the red and white is the Verizon SIM card. This has a micro SIM card slot. This is also a world phone, by the way. It has the usual dual band digital CDMA with 3G EVDO Rev A for Verizon Wireless, plus their LTE on the 700 megahertz band, and its quad band GSM with quad band 3G HSPA. So, world phone for your world roamers. This back, you can replace this if you want with a charging back and it works with the Qi standard for electrostatic charging. So for those of you who hate to plug a charger into it, you can do that, but you will have to get a different back to do that. The phone has 16 gigs of internal storage and ours has just about 10 gigs free available for your use. And again, you can augment that with the micro SD card. You can put your own media on there, your own music, your own videos, your own documents, if you like. It has NFC. Uh, using mostly for file transfer at this point for Windows Phone, dual band Wi-Fi 811BGN with channel bonding, so good Wi-Fi there, Bluetooth 3.0, and a GPS with GLONASS. The really good news here is pretty much all the Windows Phone 8 devices that have come out so far all run on the same capable Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 dual port 1.5 GHz CPU, so you're not looking at a lower end CPU here, you're getting the same CPU that you would in the HTC 8X or the Lumia 920. So capable, powerful, you know, Windows Phone has never lagged. Even in the days of single-core CPUs, when Windows Phone 7 came out, people were saying, oh man, the specs are kind of lagging. Well, it was still a really fast operating system in phone, and, and it still is right now. And we can see here, scrolling through all of our applications, the UI is just always very snappy and responsive, and applications launch quickly. Now, some of the applications depend on a live internet connection, so that is dependent on your internet connection. But here with Verizon's excellent LTE 4G, we have not had problems with it. Typical for Windows Phone 8, you get the live tile interface. This is the custom Verizon red color. You can change it to a variety of colors to suit you. And you can see we've got notifications here for our email. It gives you a count for how many emails you have. This is our Hotmail one up here. SMS messaging, link to 
Internet Explorer 10 mobile, and that's the App Store. Our people with a live tile keeps flashing friends' faces on there and gives us status updates for both Twitter and Facebook if you want. Office Suite, that's Office Mobile. This is not full Office. This is not even Office RT that you'll see on Windows RT tablets, but it has some of the basics for it. formatting and editing documents and obviously very good compatibility with MS Office. And if we launch that again, you can see how quickly that launches. And you can open documents that are on your phone that you've received an email, SkyDrive, or through your Office 365 hub. We've got some sample documents here, so we'll take a look at a sample Word document. That's their usual rich text document. So you can see it supports embedded images, a variety of type sizes, colors, and you can do basic things for text formatting when you're working with the document there. PIM applications are standard. As you saw, we have the live tile with the people interface. By the way, that syncs with Exchange. That also works with Gmail very nicely, including things like push for Gmail and for the calendar as well. So you can not just be limited to Exchange here, but you can use Google Calendar if you want to with that calendar application. The live tiles are resizable, by the way, if you don't want that calendar app to be that big. Just press and hold, and you can drag it to be this size or even this size down here. We've got a couple of add-ons. ESPN is bundled because Nokia has a relationship going right now with them. And we have some Verizon applications on here, one that monitors your data usage for you, and we have their NFL Live mobile application. If you don't want any of those, it's easy enough to remove them. We'll find one right here. NFL Mobile, don't want it. Just select Uninstall, poof, it'll go away. So, bloatware cure right there. And instead of just the usual Microsoft Music Player, uh, the Xbox Live Music Player it's called, we get Nokia Music as well over here. And Nokia Music is pretty cool because it has free streaming, streaming music service here. You can set up playlists, genres, and listen for free, which is pretty cool. Now, anything that I have stored locally is going to actually switch back over to the built-in player, which is a very capable and pleasant player to use. And you can hear it sounds not bad through the speakers on the bottom. It's pretty good, actually. We're at two-thirds of volume, maximum volume right now. And this can play in the background. Has Dolby Mobile for headphone out audio. Sounds quite nice. I wouldn't put it up there with the HTC 8X, which has that wonderful headphone preamplifier built in and Beats Audio and, and it's not that the Beats Audio gives you all that bass but it actually has a lot of clarity that's very pleasing but certainly this one's pleasant enough to listen to music on now for Nokia add-on applications we have Nokia Drive, we have Nokia Maps and that's where the real value added is here Windows Phone with Bing Maps and you can actually access that through your local scout service down here if you want to but it gives you spoken turn-by-turn -turn directions where you just get on-screen directions from the Bing Maps application. This one will speak to you so you don't have to have a car accident when you keep staring at your phone screen instead of at the road. Granted, you can also use VZ Navigator and other third-party navigation solutions, but Nokia Drive is free and Nokia Maps is free and you can actually download maps for offline use. So that means if you don't want to use your data connection on the road and you live in the state of New Jersey, well, you can just download the state of New Jersey and then not depend on your data connection to get map data. And now that we've picked on the Lumia 822 for not being the best looking phone on the block, I will say that it's better looking than the Lumia 810 that's here on T-Mobile, which is just a complete rectangle. Pretty boring looking, I have to say. And from the back, you know, that's just a, your, your black rectangle. Nothing to see there. Equally as thick. If we turn this guy around, I mean, at least it has some curves. It has a little bit of style. But now here's the big hurt. We have the HTC 8X here in California blue. A really uber good looking phone. Very styling. Slim looking. In fact, they make it slimmer looking with the design. It's just kind of, well, one of the nicest looking phones on the market right now. Certainly one of the most interesting. And yeah, you're just not going to get the same amount of style there, are you? But then again, like I said, the HTC 8X also costs twice as much. And lastly, we have it with his big brother, the Nokia Lumia 920 here. It's certainly a very styling phone. Also a bigger phone, 4.5 inches. So you can see that this 4.3 inch Lumia 822 is going to save you a little space in your pocket. Not as petite as it could be perhaps for 4.3 inches, but still definitely smaller. I will say that the phone does feel very nice in hand. I do like the curves that they put on here and feels good to hold. The buttons are easy to, to actually use without accidentally tapping on them. And that's an improvement of the 8X, which may have very 
attractively integrated buttons, but they're really hard to hit, much like the HEC Droid DNA. So it feels good in hand, weighs five ounces. Um, that actually makes it a little on the hefty side these days, but not so terrible that you're gonna really feel it dragging your, your pants pockets down. We wanna access our music and videos, the built-in player, the Xbox player as it's called, formerly also known as Zune. You can see this is the standard interface right here. And if we wanna look at videos, we have a 1080p trailer and that we've copied onto the device now. Clearly 1080p is higher resolution than this 800 by 40 display, so it's scaling it down to the screen, but... Change for us. But really do beautiful display. The Change Lumia clear black display AMOLED is just really nice looking. Good colors, good saturation, but not hyper-exaggerated. And it can handle it just fine. This is every bit as fast as, again, the Lumia 920 and the HTC 8X, so no problems there with performance when it comes to gaming or when it comes to HD video playback. Now, in terms of the usefulness of playing HD video on this, full HD that is, not so much because there is no HDMI out on the phone. And we've got Xbox Live Gaming on here. That doesn't mean that everything that is on your Xbox console is going to play on here, but we have Xbox branded games and we have some integration with the your Xbox account. In fact, I can get here to my avatar for this particular account, customize it as I see fit. I can download Xbox Smart Glass if I want to use this in conjunction with my Xbox and control my Xbox and do some other cool stuff. And one more thing about Windows phone selection of games, you might not see all the titles you're familiar with on iOS or Android, but still there's, there's some pretty cool games on here and you can try them before you buy them. So it's not like you've got to run out and try to find a review of some game to decide if it's going to be worth your $4.99 or even your $0.99. Cents. You can give it a try for yourself. And you can see we do have titles like Sonic, Angry Birds around here, Fruit Ninja, a lot of those popular games. But you're not going to find Dead Trigger or some of the other really hot titles right now that are on the other mobile platforms. And now we're going to look at a game called Extraction, which is kind of a top-down shooter game. Oh, Pepsi. And it plays just fine. And isn't it nice when all your enemies stay still? There it is, a little gaming on the Lumia 822. And for the web browser, we get IE10 Mobile, obviously a mobile version of IE10 on the desktop. No Adobe Flash here. Adobe's out of the mobile Flash business pretty much, but we do get HTML5 video support. And as I've commented in our other Windows phone reviews, much improved web browser with IE10. Good performance, good handling of layout. We're looking at our own website right now, Mobile Tech Review, and desktop layout, handling it just fine. Pinch to zooming, we also have tapping to fit in any block of text inside the screen dimensions conveniently. And we'll check out how well this handles video playback and we'll look at our 8x video review. And it automatically full screens just like you would want it to do. Playing nicely, it looks great. And again, the screen is just really nice looking. It just makes colors pop and it has very high contrast, nice deep blacks. So a pleasant device to view video on, even if it's not that high resolution. 
You get the standard dialer on here for Windows Phone, large big buttons, easy to use. You have also have access to your contacts and to your call log, call history from inside of the calling application. Call quality we found very good for both incoming and outgoing voice, a little louder than normal and quite clear and crisp, very pleasant, good, good voice phone. In terms of data speeds, this has LTE, 4G, and data speeds have been good on the tests that we've used. Uh, Speedtest.net is the app that we use on iOS and Android. That's not yet available on Windows phones, so we can't use a direct competitor to test, but so far, using other bandwidth me measuring apps, we've seen about 12 to 13 megabit per second down and about 6 to 7 up, which is typical of what we see on Android phones and on the iPhone on Verizon. Thanks to the 1800 milliamp battery inside and the relatively small by today's standards display, battery life has been quite good on this. We've had no trouble making it through the day with moderate use. I mean, 7 a.m. till actually 11 p.m. at night with moderate use. That includes, say, 30 minutes of calling, a push email turned on, watching a couple of YouTube videos on it, having some nice background music session that lasted 45 minutes, and watching a couple of locally stored short video clips as well. So, thumbs up for battery life. We have a front camera on here, good for using Skype, which you can download from the Windows Phone Application Store, and the 8 megapixel camera on the back with Carl Zeiss lines. It's not as fancy as the Lumia 920. You don't have optical image stabilization going on here, but better than average camera in terms of image quality. I like that it doesn't over sharpen, over sharpen things too much, so you get kind of natural looking images, and if you do want to sharpen things up, I mean, heck, you can always use some post-processing to do that. And here we have the camera interface. We have quick control for our flash over here, switching between front and rear cameras and switching between video modes. This can record 1080p video at 30 frames per second, by the way. Nice video quality as well, particularly if lighting is good. And here we can look at photo and video settings. And we've got a variety of scenes to choose from. Exposure value, white balance, aspect ratio. Focus Assist. So basic stuff there. Not too bad at all, and if you want to take a picture, just simply tap to focus. And it's, the focusing is a little bit slow. You can see it is using the Focus Assist, and it feels like it needs a little help from the flash. Honestly, it's not that dark a scene. I'm not sure why. So the world's fastest at capturing? No. But taking qu good quality images? Yes. And we can just swipe over here and look at the picture it took. That's pretty darn nice for indoor lighting. Good colors there, good sharpness, so not bad at all, especially given the price, $49 or $99 with contract, depending on what special Verizon has going at the time. So that's the Nokia Lumia 822, available now on Verizon Wireless, LTE, clear black AMOLED display, great Nokia applications, and, well, in the fact it's not the best looking phone on the planet, it's not bad. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Be sure to visit our website to read the full review, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.